What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And also, if you do enjoy the video or find it helpful, be sure to drop a like. Finally, follow my Twitter. There's a link in the description. I'll be dropping some more 2K content over there and enjoy the video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys what is, in my opinion, the best build in NBA 2K21 next gen. This build can play defense, dribble, shoot, dunk, and do everything in this game. But without further ado, let's hop right into the My Player Builder. As you guys can see, we are in the My Player Builder. The only thing that matters as far as vitals is you must be a power forward. As you guys may already know, power forwards are the best position by far because you get the most badges and plus you can unlock pro drill moves off rip even though you're a power forward. For the body settings, what you're going to go ahead and want to do is drop the height down to minimum. As you guys can see, this boosts pretty much all stats, but the one that really matters is the ball handle. If you don't drop your height down to 6'7", then you won't be able to unlock pro drill moves, which you get at 80 ball handle. Moving on to the weight, you 100% need to put this at minimum or 210 pounds. This way, you are just as fast and as speed boosty as possible. And the only thing we do gain by bumping up weight is strength and that's not nearly as important as being acceleration and finally for the wingspan we're gonna go ahead and max this out the reason for this is that we get way more badges this way and plus we'll have better finishing and defense onto the attribute screen what i'm gonna go ahead and do first is just get the obvious things out of the way right now as you can see all of the obvious things are the way something that may pop out to you is that we have a 25 stamina the reason for this is because this way we can get more badges and the difference between 25 stamina and 50 stamina is actually none at all 2k automatically sets it to 50 and plus the difference between 50 stamina and 99 stamina is only a small difference especially in park so starting off with the defense we're gonna go ahead and pretty much max out offensive rebound we're actually gonna drop this down to an 86 so we can still have our 24 defensive badges the reason why we do this is just so we can maximize badges as much as possible next on to playmaking we're gonna go ahead and bump up our pass accuracy up to an 85 if we drop this any lower lose our 25 playmaking badges 25 playmaking badges is kind of like a sweet spot because the jump to 26 after that is much more than the jump from 24 to 25. Next, going up to shooting, what we're gonna go ahead and do is bump up our free throw to a 78. We'll have 22 shooting badges. Even though we don't have the best three-point rating in the entire game, we can still definitely shoot extremely consistently, especially once you get max badges. And then finally, moving on to finishing, we're gonna go ahead and max out standing dunk and then upgrade our post control to a 56 will have 17 finishing badges what we can go ahead and do with our last few attributes i guess you could leave it on post control if you want however i'm gonna go ahead and throw them on vertical overall this build is absolutely insane it's super duper well rounded and it's just so good one adjustment that you could make to get a 90th badge is you could drop the shooting badges down to 20 total shooting badges and then go ahead, upgrade our post control to a 68 wolf, 18 finishing badges, and then throw everything on pass accuracy. It's up to you whether or not you want to do this. In my opinion, the first build with 89 badges is better, even though it's less badges because it's more well-rounded, whereas this build has more badges, but it's just not as well-rounded as the previous one. Moving on to the takeover. So as you guys can see, I'm unable to unlock sharp takeover with this variation of the build. However, if we go ahead and revert it back to the previous 89 badge variation, then as you can see, we are able to unlock sharp takeover. What I recommend doing is if you're going with the first 89 badge variation that can unlock sharp takeover, go with spot precision and then limitless range. However, if you're unable to unlock sharp takeover and you want to go with 90 badges instead, then first go with finishing moves and then second go with extreme clamp. And as you guys can see, we have built an offensive threat. Anyways, you guys, that's pretty much it for the video. If you did enjoy it and you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Like the video if you did find it helpful, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.